designhill.com overview hey guys welcome to this new video in today's video we are going to introduce you to designhill.com which is an online platform that connects businesses and individuals with talented designers to create custom graphic designs logos and merchandise users can launch design contests or hire designers directly to work on their projects the site offers a wide range of design services including web design packaging and print materials with a large community of designers and you and a user friendly interface design hill simplifies the process of finding creative solutions for design needs so let's dive into it guys and let's see how this website works so first of all this is our main page after typing designhill.com in the search bar so we have here the design hill in our top left and the print shop so let's see what we have in the print shop so as you see here here you can de start designing or create a custom design that you have in mind and here you can shop from the, the designs and the products that already existed in this platform so let's go back to the, the design hill and let's see where we can create our account so here in your top right you have book a free design consultation if you need any consultation regard, regarding the designs you can book it from here and if you want to log in if you already have an account you can log in from here or you can join now as i'm going to do right now so let's create our new account so we need to fill this information put our email and enter our password then we select which one of those we're going to go with so if you are a customer and you need something designed you can go with i'm a customer and if you are a designer and you want to submit your designs you can go with i'm a designer so i'm going to fill my information and get back with you so as you can see here guys i went with i'm a designer option so let's hit sign up you can also connect with your facebook account or your twitter or your gmail so this is our board that we see after the after signing up so this is the introduction so let's hit continue or you can also you can always skip this step but let's go on it let's hit continue and this is some tips to help us in out, outstanding design hill profile let's hit continue and this is the don'ts that we need to avoid while onboarding design hill so as you can see don't provide any misleading or wrong information related to your identity always provide accurate details you have also you don't need to create duplicate accounts as you can do everything with just a single account don't solicit other members of the community for work on design hill avoid doing this as it builds unreliability don't request to take payment outside of design hill also avoid taking requests for communication outside the platform it's not legitimate so after reading this let's hit continue and this is the ways to earn on design hill so you have design contests and graphic design so you can hit yes i'm interested and yes i'm interested and then go with continue so here you need to create your profile as you can see you fill those all those information you start with your first name last name your profile picture if you have one decide your gender male or female and your display name your username date of birth address line the second address line your country state city postcode zip code and your about your languages and how did you hear about the platform so i'm going to leave you guys to fill this information and coming back with you right away
So guys, after filling in your personal inf information, you go then to create your profile. So you have here your expertise. So I'm just going with logo design and you can select whatever is your expertise. You have a variety of expertise. So you can select your expertise and then you choose your other best expertise. If you have multiple expertise, you can just see comic artists, photographer, painter, and so on. And then you can select your skills, list the skills related to the services you're offering and add your experience. So you can see website, web, web design. And you can select your proficiency level. So let's see I'm an intermediate. Then you select add and you can select as much skills as you have. Then you go to your education. You fill this information about your education. Then you give them your college, your university name, the title, what you are doing, associate, PhD or a bachelor or a certificate or anything. You give them your major and the year and you hit add if you have, if you, if you need to add multiple ones. And here you have the certifications. You have the certificate of award certificate from EG Adobe, for example, and the year. And you can also hit add if you want to add more than one. And here, if you have a personal website, you can just leave the link right here. And here they ask you if you have your own online store. If yes, you select yes. If no, you go with no. Then you hit continue. And here you need to leave your social presence. And it says it is mandatory to connect at least any one social account. Please click on save and connect button to link your account. So it's obligatory guys to leave at least one of your accounts here. So you can just leave your Google account or your Facebook, your Instagram, or your Pinterest, or your professional presence like LinkedIn, Twitter, Dribble, Behance, Vimeo, YouTube, TikTok. So I'm going to leave my email. So it's not for your Google account. It's you leave here your website. So you need to leave here your website, not your Google account. And the other ones, you leave your account. So I'm just going with com. So I need to leave it as they say. You to type HTTPS. So I'm just going to give them my Google account or my website and then coming back with you. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.